Tangent galvanometer is a device used to measure a very small current. It works based on tangent law of magnetism. When a magnet is freely suspended into two mutually perpendicular uniform magnetic field, the magnet will come to rest in the direction of the resultant magnetic field. This figure shows the side view of a circular coil. When current flows in this direction, magnetic field is produced and more concentrated at the center of the coil. The direction of the magnetic field can be determined using right hand grip rule. From Beard Savitt's law, the magnetic field's strength can be calculated using this formula. When a magnet is placed in the center of the coil, the magnetic field strength for the coil become perpendicular to the horizontal component of earth magnetic field. The resultant magnetic field shown by the deflection of the magnet. I will be explaining about the factors affecting magnetic field. As we all know, the formula of magnetic field is given by N times I divided by 2R. N represents the number of turns on the electromagnet. The I represents the current value and the R is the distance. Magnetic field is directly proportional to the number of turns of wire and the magnitude of current. Hence, the factors that affect the magnetic field are the number of turns of wire and the magnitude of current. Firstly, the effect of number of turns of wire. The more the number of turns of wire, the stronger the magnetic field becomes. Next, changing the amount of current flowing through the electromagnet will also change the field it produces. The greater the current in the coil, the stronger the magnetic field will grow. In this experiment, we are going to show how current influences the magnetic field of a coil. The reflection of this needle will show the resultant magnetic field. The current will flow from positive terminal to negative terminal. The direction of the magnetic field of current carrying coil is determined by using the right hand grip rule. When the current flows through the current carrying coil, the direction of the magnetic field of the coil will be perpendicular to the loop. While the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field will be perpendicular to the magnetic field of the coil. The deflection of this needle will show the resultant magnetic field. Let's start this experiment with the lowest voltage of a dry cell which is 1.5 volt by connecting this alligator clip right here. And as you can see the needle starts to move and its deflection is at its lowest because of the low current flow. Next is 3.0 volt. And the deflection of the needle is medium. And lastly, is the highest voltage of dry cell, which is 4.5 volt. And we can see here that the deflection of the needle is at its highest. In conclusion, the higher the voltage, the higher the current flow. And the magnetic field of the coil produced by the current carrying coil is higher. And this is shown by the deflection of the needle which is at its highest. We hope that you guys can make this tangent galvanometer at home too.